Hello everyone and welcome to another video with Daddy Daughter Card Break. My name is Clay. Lucky is with me. As you can hear, he is super excited for this one here. Today I'm going to start a brand new experimental series. And we're going to see just how accurate that statement is. Opening trading cards is just like playing the lottery. So... Everybody is familiar, or most everybody should be familiar, with the 2020 Panini Prism Mega Boxes. When they came out, they retailed at $39.99, so $40. And we're going to put this box, this $40 box of cards, up against $40 worth of lottery tickets. So, as you can see here, these were $5 a piece, so I do have eight of them. And they are sequential, so we have 19, 20... 21, 22, all the way through 26. So we do have all of those there. So we've heard it time and time again. Man, opening cards is like playing the lottery. So it's time to find out which one actually has the better odds. We're gonna do this over the course of probably the next nine weeks. So um, we will definitely have a winner one way or another. It will either be sports cards or collect cards. I may do some uh, Pokemon in one of the videos versus some lottery tickets, but we're gonna see how this goes. And so this video isn't extremely long. I'm gonna do this one into two parts. Um, so we will do this one today, and then we'll do part two, um, either sometime later this week or next Monday, just kinda depends on how things go. So let's go ahead and get into this box of Prism. So there's eight packs per box and four cards per pack plus the one bonus 12 card pack. We will take the bonus 12 card pack and we will do it next time. Go ahead and let you know that now. We will do that one next time. It is the 1st of February so we do have a new Patreon member of the month in our Patreon and that is Brent's Card Breaks. I want to thank Brent for his continued support over on our <coughs> Patreon page. So, we are going to take four of these packs. This is the 12 card pack. So, again, we will do that one next time. So, we're going to take four of these packs. We're going to put four of them back. And then we will take these four, top four lottery tickets here. And let's just see what happens. See which one actually comes out better. So obviously there's about 20 bucks right here. And there's 20 bucks right here. So let's just see which one is actually the better deal if there is such a thing. So we will start opening this first pack of Prism here. Got a Debbie Gulag rookie. Tommy Pham. A Nolan Jones now on deck and a Paul DeJong. So good looking cards in Prism. A lot of people, of course, don't like Prism just due to the fact that Panini products don't have the rights to use the team logos. All right, so we've got our first pack there. So now it's time to do our first ticket up against that first pack. And I'm going to put this cardboard down just so I don't get ticket shrapnel all over our break mat here all right so went up to one hundred thousand dollars wouldn't that be amazing to pull a one hundred thousand dollar ticket on this youtube video here all right so match any of your numbers to any of the winning numbers win the prize shown reveal five times win five times amount ten times win ten times amount and there's also a 20 times or 50 times that you could win so let's start scratching this ticket here let's see if this first one here can beat that first pack obviously what we want to do is see if I guess we want to break even that would be the main goal let's see if we can at least get our value back all right, so all right, so here we go. Let's start scratching some numbers here. Got twenty-two. 
and a 34. I don't see a 22 or a 34 on there. There's an 11, so we do have a winner there and a 33. So let's see what we get there on that 11. There's five dollars and a 17. So we did hit five dollars on that five dollar ticket. So I'd say pack for ticket. The ticket was definitely better than the pack. All right, so we'll set that one to the side. And we'll go to our next pack here. I'll remind everybody about the live stream we have coming up here this evening. We're going to do a box of 87 tops, a box of 91 stadium club, and a vending box of 85 tops. There are a few spots left. If anybody would like to pick one of those up at adarkheartbreaks.com. So we have a Justin Turner. A Bruce Star Gratterall rookie. It's not too bad. Logan Gilbert and a Jose Altuve in pack number two. So now let's get ready for lottery ticket number two. Again, we're just going to see what odds are actually better. You know, I've heard it said time and time again. And opening those cards just like playing the lottery. Well, then let's just do both and let's see what turns out better for us in a series who knows we may really enjoy this so much that we may just continue this who knows all right so didn't get any of the multipliers we don't automatically win so we have a 17 and a 23. Don't see any of those numbers. We have a 21 and a 29. Don't see any of those numbers. And a 16. There's not any of those numbers. So that pack with that Bruce Star Gratero obviously is better than that losing ticket. Alright, prism pack number three. There is supposed to be one autograph in this box. So we have a Michael Brantley. Ramon Laureano. Pretty cool. Trevor Bauer. And nice Evan Longoria silver prism there. I believe that Ramon's probably going to go to our buddy a mess of things. All right, so that pack, obviously, could have been better. And that product may not be the best product to go up against this, but that's what we decided to start it off with. Do some different products in the coming weeks. So, what is our numbers? If we can find a winning number to coordinate with that. So we have a 33 and a 40. We don't see any 33s or 40s. A 32 and a 30. No 32s and no 30s. Our final number for this ticket is a 9. Nothing on that. So... That is another losing ticket there. So I think that pack obviously is going to beat out that ticket. And then here we go with our final pack of this video. We have a Cody Bellinger. Gio Urshela. It's a nice Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Lumber Company. And a pretty cool star casing. Fernando Tatis Jr. Pretty awesome card right there. So we'll do the last ticket now. And this, uh, the other video will actually be a part of this particular 
one here because we're putting the $40 box against the $40 in tickets so we will do both videos and then determine which one was the better of the two whether it be the box of cards or the lottery tickets alright so there is a winner so for seven and thirty-five, so we got a seven right there. So we'll see what that gives us. It gives us another five dollars. Then we have a thirty-eight and a thirteen. So we don't see any. Yep, yeah, there's a thirteen right there. So there's five dollars. So that turns into ten. And then a twenty-five, and there is a twenty-five right there. That is for five dollars. So I would have to say that that fifteen dollar ticket right there is definitely better than uh, the stargazing Fernando Tatis, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. So we did have half of our money back so far on the lottery tickets. We do have twenty dollars right there. Not sure. I'll let you guys vote if we got twenty dollars. In value out of those cards right there but again we will use this video and the next one that goes up to determine the overall winner so I hope you guys enjoyed this one today and we will see you next time for the next experimental video trading cards versus lottery